Welcome back to another show and tell video. Today we're taking a look at a replica model of a Marushan copy of a Beretta 92 series, uh, specifically the M9 model. So if we go ahead and open this up, uh, front cover we can see here Marushan, trademark Marushan Industry. Made in Japan. Here we can see an SPG logo with a serial number. Russian again, wrap around, and basically your cardboard box. So another look at the trademark logo there. If we go ahead and open this up, wait, hey, wait a minute. This is a real Beretta. What's going on here? This is what we want to look at. Okay. So, what this is, is an early replica from Marushan. And you can tell because, notice, compared to an actual Beretta, there's no brand logo on the grips. So, right away, uh, this indicates in the history that they were probably still in the works of getting all... The logo information, including even the PB, you can see that is blanked out there on the slide, uh, that uh, they were probably still uh, negotiating the marketing aspect of getting the logos onto here because actually current models of the Marushan products have uh, brand logos on them, so they must have actually completed their, uh, you know, marketing agreements with Beretta. But what's interesting is uh, if we take a close look, um, this matches almost uh, to every detail uh, all the uh, functional aspects of the M9, except that this is a non-firing uh, plastic, mostly plastic uh, copy of an actual uh, Beretta, almost to the same size. So definitely not by weight because of the plastic. So you can see here, these parts do move, take down lever, slide lock. Um, this is clear, of course, but this is a replica. So I'm gonna go ahead and do things like operate double action single action safety works uh safety will drop the hammer but there's a, supposed to be a firing block safety plus even a minute detail notice the rotating striker as on the m9 uh let's see what other things notice a squared off trigger guard uh magazine release does work this actually fits Beretta size magazines. This one is marked with the PB, interesting, but manufactured by Marushan. But this is actually very close to an actual Beretta magazine, as you see here, with just some slight, you know, manufacturing differences. So you can see all the same magazine release cutouts, dimples, everything. Everything matches. In fact, this can, I believe, uh, fit nine millimeter dummy rounds in there as well. So again, this one being the Marushan copy, let's try out some snap caps and see what happens. Yep, they fit. Follower is a little gimmicky. Let's see. And it does fit in there as well. So let's take that out for now. Uh, let's see, move the box out of the way. There really wasn't much else that came with this, unfortunately. So red tip there. Slide does move back and forth fully. Let's drop the hammer for now. And it does take down like a normal Beretta. So if I depress this button here, I'm trying to think of any other markings real quick. 
Marushan Industry Company Limited. Not sure if you can see those markings right there for your reference. And the serial number is on every copy. So if I go ahead and press that button from the back, rotate this down, the slide will come off. And you can see here, same slide rails on a Beretta, extractors, hammer mechanism, slide lock, uh, guide rod and spring come out, that little barrel system, the, this locking mechanism, this is all plastic. And this is normally is glued in, but I do believe, you know, it will at least partially go in, but it should not fully fit intentionally. So there is a plug in there. If I can get the light and see right about there, there's a plug that prevents uh, chambering any type of full ammunition. Not that you want to, because this is a plastic barrel and it would just disintegrate with any amount of force. But this goes back together just like a normal uh, 90 series, 92, 96, 98, etc. And guide rod, you can see nice compact system there. I'm not going to leave the plug out for now. And this goes back, just flick that up, and that's it. Um, not that I recommend it, but this also happens to fit uh, extendos as well, if you're into that sort of uh, role-playing or using this as a film prop or whatever, that's uh, good to know. Slide lock manually engages. I can drop that plug back in. And drop everything down and safely drop the hammer. No decocker on this version, which is M9. But just to give you a look and appearance, notice the different uh, trigger guard here. This is it just happens to be a 92A1. There are quite a few different variations, so I'll try to drop some links in the description. But this being a very close functioning copy to an actual Beretta. Notice the sight differences, though. But everything else. It's very similar. Some, some cosmetic differences, and there's probably some very subtle dimensional differences as well as the weight, of course. But taking a quick look at something from Marushan, a very early version of their Beretta 92 uh, pistol display replica model, however you want to call it, model gun, etc. This has been another show and tell video. Feel free to check out other show and tell videos on vintage mill serp tools and expanded topics. We also do unboxing videos as well as a selection of book review, media reviews, and a series called Curios for the Curious, videos of more artsy type objects. Feel free to check all those out. Feel free to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next time.